In this video, I'm going to give you a full A to Z tutorial on how to build a sales funnel inside System.io. You can use System.io for free and I'll show you how you can set up an email sequence inside of System.io. Now, if you've never heard of System.io, it's basically all-in-one business building platform that helps you launch, scale and grow your business. Now, the great thing about System.io is you can start for free and you can start collecting emails without paying a cent. Check out this free plan here that you can build sales funnel with. At this moment of time, you can have email contacts of up to 2000 people with three sales funnel with 15 sales funnel steps and all what you see here for free, which is absolutely amazing. But later when your business grows, you can obviously scale up for just $27 per month. So you can start your online business for free using this tool. Now, if you want access to this free plan, I'm going to leave a link below so you can get access to System.io. Now to build an online business, you need what we call a funnel, a sales funnel. So we have traffic. That is people who may be interested in your business, whether you sell your own products or promote your own services. Or you may be doing affiliate marketing and you promote other people's products and services. And for products, you can sell either physical or digital products. Now we have two types of traffic, paid traffic, usually by ads, Google ads or Facebook or Instagram ads, or you can go for the free traffic that you can get from social media or SEO, search engine optimization. If you have a website and you want to drive traffic to. For sales of physical products, you can direct the traffic directly to the sales page where they enter their card details and buy. But this almost never works with a new audience. Those people who don't know you, would you buy from a website you've seen the first time on Facebook ad, for example? Most probably your answer is no, not many people will do. So instead of directing people to directly buy the product or service, the first step of the sales funnel is usually getting people interested in what you're doing. And that's by giving them something of value for free. Usually it's information in the form of a checklist, an ebook, a video, a guide or blueprint. And this is what we call a lead magnet. So you must prepare the lead magnet, buy it or hire someone to make it for you. I'll show you later when you can get free lead magnets that are ready to use. Then you start building the funnel. You create an opt-in page, which is simply a page that explains to the visitor what to expect in the lead magnet and what value they get. And here's an example. So you add the link to the opt-in page in your ads or social media accounts. When the visitor clicks on the opt-in page, they will enter their email address and get the lead magnets either sent to their email address or they will be directed to a bridge page where they can download it. If you're doing blogging, you can direct people to your blog and have an affiliate link on the blog, which is an indirect way of sending the traffic to products and services that they may be interested in. Now, whether you send people to your bridge page or your blog, that's not enough as just few people will click on the affiliate links and you will hardly get any sales. So the strategy here is to use the emails you collected from those people by sending a series of emails, usually packed with value, with the aim to prepare the reader for the sale. So you can offer promo code, discounts, or the sales page directly. And this is the basics of sales funnel. Now to get started with a free account, I'm going to leave a link below and it's going to allow you to sign up for system IO once you're signed in. That's what it looks like. So this is my system IO dashboard. You can see your leads, your sales coming through, and this is a brand new account that I just started. So I can show you how to build a funnel from scratch. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually go to funnels. And because they were going to build a lead magnet funnel, this is going to allow us to build an email list that you can run and do build an audience, which is what we're going to do here. So if you have a product, let's say, you have an online course. You can also do this funnel right here. And it basically allow you to integrate Stripe and PayPal so you can collect payments. Now you could also build a custom funnel with custom steps if you want. We're going to name this. I have a free checklist that I'll give out for free. We're going to go ahead and create this. Then it's going to ask you to choose a template. They already have some really nice templates inside of here. And I like to keep things pretty simple. I'm just going to pick something possibly with a book here. So let's pick this one right here. I'm going to change the colors, the headline, the description, the button colors and the cover. Obviously you see here, this is step number one. And this is where we tell people why they need that free item in exchange for their email address. And we're going to edit this page. First of all, I want to 
change the image. If you, if you don't have a lead magnet, I'll show you a quick place you can get like free ebook. It doesn't matter if it's education or crypto niche or how to make money online. There's always something for you. So you go to google.com and you can type PLR product. What this means is a private label product that you can use. You can modify it, but I recommend to create your own product. So you can either buy the ebook, sometimes they give it for free. And you have to read the license or terms. Sometimes they ask you to give attribution. Sometimes, sometimes you don't have to give credit to the actual person who created this product. Also, you have to check if uh, on the license if you're allowed to modify. So you don't want to give a random product. You should make sure that you're giving away a product that makes sense for your niche and for the product or service you're going to sell later. So preferably a customized product if the license allows, as I said. Now back to the squeeze page. We continue with editing the this squeeze page. I'm going to click on this image here and now you can see on the left you can upload your own image. I'm going to upload my image. The cover image is just a basic cover that I made on Canva. So I'm going to upload it from my computer but you could just add the URL if you have the image hosted somewhere. Now I'm going to change the headline, the font, the text under the headline, the color of the font and the button and the button color. I'm speeding up this process. Obviously, I don't want to waste your time looking at the fonts change and colors and, and other editing details. And this is the final version. It's very basic, but it does what it's supposed to do. Obviously, save changes at the top as often as you can so you don't lose your work. And this is the desktop view. But if you go to the bottom left here, you can see that it's on the desktop. If you click on the mobile, you can actually see what it looks like on mobile. So you can adjust the font of the mobile. It's not going to affect the font on the desktop version. Now, if you click on this button, you can do a few things. You can have an email pop up that appears on the landing page if you want to. Let's try that. So the sh show close button is not showing yet. If we put it on, you can see it here on the right. You can add a delay so it won't appear straight away. And then you can choose if the pop-up opens automatically, either put it on or off if, if you don't want it automatic. So if you put it off, you can, you can add it as open on exit intent. Obviously it has to be on here. And let's test that. If you go to the squeeze page and you can see that it worked. As I was going to exit the page, squeeze page, the window pops up. So if you go to the setting here and you scroll down, you see here it has search engine optimization. So I like to fill this out. If you don't know what SEO means, basically, let's say I go to Google and, and I type smart wealth makers that page will start ranking in Google because when someone types in our name or products or services, we want our name to show up at the top of the Google search. And that's what SEO is in very basic terms. Now we got to create the thank you page. We got to give them the actual thing that we're promoting. And I'm going to create the simple thank you page. I'm going to, I'm going to change this page. If you are an affiliate marketer, you can basically have a link here that goes to an affiliate product. You can literally go to promote it right here. So obviously we're going to make money with the email list, but also we want to make money when people get on this page, they have nowhere to go. So lead them somewhere that can make you money. So you can either direct them to your website to read more blogs, blog posts, or YouTube channel, or to your other landing pages. You can see here it works and it takes me to Smart Wealth Makers, the channel that I added. System.io allows you to add a sub-custom domain, that is whatever you choose it to be. You can see here it's editor at system.io slash pages and then random number edit. And we want to change that to something that is more recognizable, uh, lila wm. 50 system IO, but if you don't want system IO in your URL at all and you want it more professional, I'm going to show you how to change it to something much more professional. I want it to be funnel.smartwealthmakers.com. Let's see how you do that. You go here and then you choose settings, then you go to custom domains, and here you can change whatever you want your subdomain to be. So I'm going to add a domain and I name it funnel.smartwealthmakers.com. 
and as soon as I do that a window pops up and it gives me the seat name and an additional URL as well and that's for DNS configuration in your domain if you purchased a domain that's what I did in my case and I bought my domain from Namecheap so I go to Namecheap on domain list and then advanced DNS and here I have to add here I have to add a record ask me to add the host record and that's funnel in my case and it has to and had to add it where it points to and that's that this link here and then I save it well I end up using freemium instead of funnel and you can see it works here. If we test it, you can see that it opens on the top here. The URL is freemium.smartwealthmakers.com. Now to start capturing leads or potential customer emails, we need to go to emails, then to campaigns, and we're going to create a campaign. I'm going to call it new website checklist. Then we save the campaign. Now if you go back to funnels, I'm going to automation rules, and then add a rule. Choose funnel step from forum subscribe. So that means the moment people enter their emails in this quiz page, they're going to add an action, which is subscribe to a campaign. And what campaign? Um, it's this campaign we just created. Now I can start building an email list of people that I know are interested in building a new website. So we save the rule and it's done. Now we're going to test things out. You can go again and you can go into this particular quiz page. You can view funnel step and it takes you to the test page. And now you can enter a name and email address. And then it takes me to the page which I created. Again, it did the right thing. And that's what exactly what we expect. Take me to where I wanted to go. Perfect. Now it, we know it works. Now let's check if the email was locked in or not. And boom, I can see it. See? it work. Another thing I want to show you is workflows. How do they work? So if you go to automation and then workflows, we can create a new workflow. You can name it whatever you want. Smart Wealth Makers Workflow and then save it. If you click on it and then you create your first trigger. If you add an action and it starts with subscribe to campaign and then you choose which campaign you want to people to subscribe to, in this case, a new website checklist, and then create. So once people subscribe to campaign, you can add an action. You can add an action, a delay or decision. Let's add a delay. You can add minutes, hours or days. Usually people add minutes or you can add hours up to you. And then they get an email, send an email. Either choose the email, choose an email, either choose an email or create a new one. Confirmation, confirmation email. I'm not going to write the email right now. I'm just going to write confirmation, save. You can add attachment and the rest of it. You just need the sender name here. Now it added the confirmation email. Now you want to add a delay and the delay should be in days, probably a day, one day and then create another email, send another email. Create that and then add another email. You know, it's gonna send an email on day number two, then the number three. And that's how you move those subscribers from people who don't know you yet to people who love what you do and are willing to buy what you promote. And here it becomes much easier to make money. It's just numbers game. So if you have a thousand subscribers on your email list and you send frequent emails, the typical open rate is 20%. This means 200 people will open the email. And the typical conversion is 1%, means 10 people that open your emails are gonna buy. And that's how you make money.